Uh, hi, welcome to Parametric House. Uh, in this Grasshopper tutorial, you can convert a mesh. Uh, as you can see here, the basic mesh is this input, uh, which I have brought into Grasshopper. And there is also a line, which I have right-clicked and set this to uh, a line in Rhino. And this uh, line can be scaled easily, and the mesh is going to be contoured based on the length and the location of the line. So I can increase the number of sections I need. This uh, The time input is going to smooth this uh, output so you get better results. Uh, anyway, if you put the gumball to align to object, you can just simply rotate this line uh, in 3D, move it up, scale it, and uh, select a portion of your mesh uh, and easily change the number of count and get the final results. Uh, at the end, we can uh, bake the extrusion. And as you can see here, we have that in Rhino. So uh, that is completely NURBS and we can use it in our project. If you want to learn this step by step and how we have made this from scratch, uh, you can download our free tutorial uh, below. Uh, for our power course members, we have four additional example files. Uh, which you can also watch if you want to see the complete tutorial. As you can see here, instead of controlling the line in Rhino, we can bring it in Grasshopper. Uh, we can change the location. Uh, we can change the length parametrically, which is really easy and can give us better control uh, over our shape. Uh, we can rotate it in different directions, which is really cool if you want to see it in different degrees. And again, another angle, which I'm going to explain in the tutorial, which you can rotate it easily. Uh, then I'm going to make a button a switch, which we can bring it in another location. As you can see here, we can have it completely uh, here on the ground and also we can control the count so we can get the final results easily uh, by using this technique which is uh, more control over the line. The third example file will give you more control over the shape uh, of the mesh. As you can see here, instead of a line, we're going to step up and use a bounding box which we can scale it in different direction as you can see here. And this is really great if you want to extract a portion of your shape by a bounding box and scaling it around. Uh, also moving the bounding box up and down. So uh, in contrast with the line, we, ha we can rotate the line, but here we can also move the bounding box up and down to just check out a portion of the mesh. Uh, there is also a count, which we can control how many counts we want. And then uh, just a flip and uh, select a portion of the mesh. So that is the third lesson, which I'm going to explain. The fourth lesson is about a curve we have in Rhino. So for example, assume that we have this curve. So if I just set this to the curve input, you can see that I can update it easily and get new results. Uh, the, this tutorial is going to show you how you can make a pipe radius, which is really uh, easy to make in Rhino. We can make a pipe with different radiuses around the curve and uh, okay let's just increase the start also maybe decrease at the middle like this then we're going to talk about how we can uh, add number and count to extract uh, those circles give them some thickness as you can see here we can increase the thickness decrease the thickness so I'm going to also talk about this in the tutorial and uh, also there is a radius which we can uh, produce on this curve and find the solid difference between it and get the final result so that is going to be the fourth lesson uh, the last lesson is that assume that we have a nerve surface uh, I've deformed it out of a rectangle so we have some challenges here and we're going to make a waffle structure and bring it on the ground uh, we can change the location give them a little bit of a gap a good thing about this tutorial is also uh, a row we're going to make so we're going to make a row and put the numbers for the fabrication in a complete row which is a good challenge if you want to learn uh, how to add the numbers uh, on the sections uh, again for the second part you can see that we can change it and maybe bring it here and uh, this is the best location so we have all of the numbers inside our sections uh, this tutorial is going to help you to make a waffle from a part of a NURBS surface and let's get started from scratch and learn all of these algorithms uh, and how they work.